we'd, we'd like to think we have teams figured out, but, but do we really? Not at all, Kevin. This is the time period where fan bases freak out because of records. There's still a lot of identity to be found with every team. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Dort and Williams up in the forward positions. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Holmgren in at the five. You see Dort's growing confidence over time, comfortable rising up and firing off the catch. And how can you not love the game of SGA? I mean, a young guy who continues to get back. Yeah, Greg, all the reports you get out of OKC is that this kid is a worker, and he has turned himself into an all-star with that kind of work ethic. And here is Gilgis Alexander after Darius Garland getting his shot to go from deep. And that one's good, Gilgis Alexander. He's got the ability to do damage inside and out. SGA's not going to miss that. Allen with the screen for Mitchell. And Garland has it in the corner. Oh, no good on the triple. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Williams. That one off the back iron and out. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play. And Allen slams it in. You could put that ball just about anywhere for Jared Allen. Puts those long arms to great use. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Puts up a deep three. A nice shot by Mobley. And the defense so concerned with Mitchell in the two-man game. That opens things up for others. Nice five. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. The 10-footer. The Thunder with another miss. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Cavaliers lead by two. And the second. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, well, what's your take? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. Yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. On the floor for Oklahoma City getting going here in the second quarter. We've got Williams. Wiggins is out there with Wallace. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Joe in at the two spot. Mitchell outside. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Mitchell's got the lead up to two now for the Cavs. And, and that's Mitchell at his best. Playing the quarterback on this offense and leaving the D. Grabbing for air. And the call will be against Damian Jones. That's his first foul. Both teams will make substitutions. We've got 113 left now here in the second. For the three, Williams shot is off. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, their last game a loss to the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there, and I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. You can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. Here's Williams. The Cavaliers pull it in and going against Oklahoma City, their first meeting of the year. And really, this is a team that expects to beat everyone when they step on the floor, but they were only able to split the series last year. And they don't want a repeat of what happened last year here. They know this is an opponent they can handle, and they don't want to give away anything like they did last year. To stop the run. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Cleveland leading by seven. Lavert finds Mitchell. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Joe. 
pass to Gilgis Alexander. Fires for three, and the three ball is good. Gilgis Alexander's got five now. Love the focus here from SGA at the arc. He hates to waste those opportunities. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Cavaliers ahead. They lead by four. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Cleveland. And taking a look at the Cavaliers. First game of the year was a big L. Tonight could be a different story. Just got to bring the SLM. Turning our attention back to the Thunder, they're in a real tooth and nail fight here at the break. They've been letting loose from that perimeter. And that'll do it for halftime. We... And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It, it's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. Uh, there's some gray area, obviously, and it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. And at the forward positions, Okoro and Mobley. At the guard position, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Allen in at the five. And that's the group for J.B. Bitterstaff as we begin the second half. And Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front of them. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you very much. The Cavaliers have one of the league's stingiest defenses. Evan Mobley says it's tough to be the best defense nowadays. Every team has multiple guys that are super talented. So just hanging our hats on defense every night. All of us are very versatile, can guard multiple positions. That's what makes us so good. Back to you guys. Ah, thanks, GA. Good stuff. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. For three, Mitchell. Good on the three-point shot. Mitchell's got eight. And Mitchell is a confident scorer, including from downtown. Gilgis Alexander against Garland. Gilgis Alexander, good. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Garland kicks to a Okoro. the wing Mitchell Kitty defending lets it go with a three and another three for Cleveland uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame hey, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away and the pass to Gilgis Alexander fades away and it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him and so it's Cleveland with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well. In the and it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. And Oklahoma City, look at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. The post pair of form will be Williams and Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Dortz in at the three. Mitchell outside. Mobley a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Five to shoot. Carlin to Tappy, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, the defense slow to react to Garland's play on that possession there. Instinctive to do whatever it takes to get to the foul line. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And we're taking a glance here at the Oklahoma City Thunder, Brent. They are all in on the future. Absolutely. You open up the coverage there to see what they have, and they are not there. 
massive amounts of first round draft choices for this front office. And that goes along with some of the young talent they've already identified. This team could get very good very fast with all of that. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Cavaliers. What do you think was the deciding factor in this one? I think you have to look at their field goal percentage. They just shot the ball much better than the opponent, and they were getting great looks all game long. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Donovan Mitchell. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. Count it. And the Cavaliers lead by 14. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on, and that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. Mitchell kicks to Garland. And the three off target. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes